going on everybody? Welcome back. So um, today, yet another MTV Pro unboxing. Uh, we're now in December, which means it's like super cold here and I hate it. I hate how cold it is. Uh, everything's frozen over, so I can't fish or do anything. So foosball videos are gonna be coming again soon, so keep an eye out for those. But in the meantime, I only have a couple minutes before my whole family comes in this door and creates insanity in this house and I won't be able to do this video anymore. So, jumping right in. Um, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. Oh, look at all that, boom. All right, so we got the Dibble. Uh, the Dibble's a little different this time around, it looks like. They're doing uh, like a word crossword puzzle thing here on the bottom, which is kind of cool. And they've gone back to like the card style of um, of the what's inside aspect of this. So we're gonna start right off the bat with the Strike Pro Gill Raker. Uh, Strike Pro, which is gonna be this bad boy. This thing is cool looking just for the record and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I love little jointed swim baits, especially as of recently. Oh my goodness, there we go. Hello. Focus, please. Thank you. Focus, focusing. There you are. Uh, so this is super pretty looking and uh, kind of looks like a little gill of some sorts. I like it. It's got a soft plastic tail here. Um, not sure if this sinks or floats, but uh, oh, it is a sinking. So it'll sink a little bit, 3 8 weight. They list this as uh, 10.59, so there's that. I ran out of time. I'll see you in, you know what, just give me, give me a moment. Didn't really go as planned, so we're going to the basement. All right, so, um, my wonderful family came home and we got to hang out, enjoy a great dinner, but now back to the box. So we went over, <clears throat> What the heck was I? Oh yes, we went over the Strike Pro. Uh, little uh, sinking, uh, kind of like a glide bait, little swim bait. Uh, jointed, of course, comes with an extra fin here on the back. I actually think I have one of these um, in a slightly different color that came in a different box. But this guy's kind of cool. He can kind of compress and locks like right in there. It looks like an actual fish and then, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really think that's neat. So. So be it. Uh, I don't need that, I don't need that. Uh, well, I actually kind of need this one. Um, so that's gonna work great <clears throat> kind of all year round. Um, you know, this is a December box, so it should be winter-based items. Uh, however, I don't know if that's 100% accurate, so we'll see. Uh, next up is the Yozuri Knuckle Bait. Uh, these are kind of cool. I <laughs> never bought one of these for myself, so this is one of those times where the good old mystery tackle box comes in a clutch and gives you something that maybe you wouldn't normally throw and especially in this color i would have never never bought this for myself but i'm definitely going to be willing to throw it now um it seems like something that would be fun seems totally different and um you know it's it's basically a spinner bait but it's got the ball on there right like we've all seen stuff like this um matter of fact uh bass pro used to have the tornado uh, I believe is what it was called, and it was very similar to this in the style. Uh, it had the big head, it had the, uh, had something similar to the ball here, but not the same. So the knuckle ball is, uh, is going to be very similar to a spinnerbait, different colors, this is like almost like a craw style color, uh, but other than that, this is, uh, to me, another standard, you know, anytime bait, you know, like that little swim bait, this is an anytime thing. So anytime you want to kind of pick up and throw it, you can kind of pick up and throw it. The color is going to be kind of specific though. The color is going to be very much for uh, for more of a dark colored water. Not truly stained, but like got some tinge to it. So, all right. And so far, you know, the first bait was uh, ten fifty nine. The second bait was eight ninety nine. So eight ninety nine. Was oh, there's a rattle. All right, all right, that kind of changes things a little bit. I did not know there was a rattle in it. I thought it was just gonna, you know, cause more wake, but wow, that's a different noise. That's something, that's different. All right, I'm, I'm excited to throw that now. That's kind of cool. We got a Z-Man Swimmers. That's gonna be these plastic buggers right here. Some soft plastics. Uh, these things are almost completely translucent. 
um, which is really, really cool. They've got some killer, I don't want to take these out, but um, they've got just some killer color. You can see it all inside of these. I mean, they're just awesome looking. Um, this is, I haven't seen this exact color before. It's got like some really thick stuff in the soft plastics. That's really, really neat. Uh, and you can just, you know, Texas rig these basically. Standard Texas rig, weighted, unweighted, doesn't really matter. They're gonna catch fish. You can even use this on the back of a trailer. Um, with this, this is gonna work all year. But winter right now, Texas rig this, uh, with a belly weight, okay, with the, one of the, the like a three-aught uh, belly weighted hook, long cast, all right, long cast, and just let it sit and slow, I mean, just slow, just real slow, real slow, and this is going to get bit a lot, this is going to be one of those lures, because the bass in the winter are sitting on the bottom, okay, they're sitting on the bottom of the, of uh, the pond, the lake, the river, whatever it is, they're sitting down there because that's the warmest place it's going to be for them. And this little sucker comes just flopping by. <sighs> Crush City. Zillas. All right, what's next? We have the BD Baits BDJ Flashpoint Dirt Bait. Okay, these are cool. I like these things. I mean, who doesn't like a good jerk bait? I mean, let's be real. I um, wonder, is this like fast, slow? What do we got here? This dive's two to four feet. Uh, does not say if it's suspending or not. And if it does, I have no idea where it would say that. I hate that about certain lures. They just don't tell you much. Pro style, I don't know. But let's take a look here. Boomski. It's kind of got like a ghost shad look to it. Um, Got some rattles. I'm gonna bet it probably suspends, uh, just based on the rattles that I see in there and the way that they kind of move. Looks right. Um, very cool, very simple paint job. You know, it's got the light blue across the top here, some pretty standard eyes, big mouth. Uh, this is gonna be very similar to like the Mega Bass jerk bait. Uh, three hooks is probably like, what a, this has gotta be a 100 millimeters, something like that, maybe 90s. Doesn't say, I don't know, 95, that was close. Um, so definitely not huge, it's probably got like six hooks, size six hooks. So this is gonna be great for little ponds um, and, and shallow banks where you think the fish might be hanging out. Um, I like it, I, because of how light it is, it's definitely a very much a cold water bait, clear water, real clear water. Um, there isn't a lot of flash, so you're not going to get the distance you would normally get out of certain other baits, but, uh, this is good. This is a nice little lure. Uh, they list that for $6.99, maybe. Uh, next up, we have the Mismo Bait Teasers. And these are just, uh, nice. Okay. Uh, these are just going to be your simple, everyday, uh, well, it's actually a different feel, but uh, these are tube jigs, basic tube jigs. Good color. Um, this is like a black blue. Doesn't want to show up on the camera, but it's got a ton of salt all inside. It smells like plastic though. It doesn't have like a like a real scent to it, um, like where a lot of other ones have a big heavy scent. But again, you know, this is one of those that doesn't have. This isn't like one of those starter packs. This is a full. I mean, this is a full bag of soft plastics. I mean, there's like 10 or 11 in here easily, um, which is awesome. I mean, I'm one, two, three, nine, yeah, 10, 11, 12 maybe in here. The downside is, is on this, they're not giving you the color. They're not telling you how many are in here. Um, Mismo, you can do a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. I'd like to know what's in here and how many. I'm sure you guys just shipped out a ton for the MTB Pro boxes, so you can produce, you know, for your cus or for you, um, for your company. But um, if you want me to come and buy this later, I need to go. I need to know what color this is. I need to go and try and look it up and find it uh, and what style this is. You know, this is going to be maybe a two or three inch. Um, looks like a two, two and a half uh, inch little guy right here. And uh, do better. Be better. 
Just saying, be better. Now last but not least, we have Lunker Hunt Spicy Baits. Oh, this is cool. This is so different. Okay, um, so what this is, is actually to go inside of those tube jigs, which is really odd that you've got tube jigs and this, and they're from different companies, right? That's kind of weird. But um, boom, look at this, first of all. Let's see if we can get a lock in. Okay, lock in on this, please. Lock in on the logo. Lock in on the logo. Come on. Atta boy. Okay. So, ugh, there we go. Now, check this out. This is what's really cool about these. Boom. You actually put them inside of the tube jig. That's what it's designed for, is to put inside of the actual tube jig. That is really cool. That is something that's different. The downside is they're all stuck at the top here. Really? Yeah, see this isn't even open yet. But look, they're all they're all stuck at the top. See that? Yep, stuck up there. But again, you know, this is for $4.99. So between the two, so you're looking at a $12 buy, $11 buy, for this and those tube jigs to go out and go fishing. To me, that's a little excessive. Um, and that's even assuming I can get these to come out. Like, this is... There we go. Got them. Got them. Um... All right, so what do I think about this specific box? Well, it's middle of the range. Middle of the road. Um, it's got two you know, traditional hard baits. It's got this bad boy. It's got soft plastics. Um, and this. Uh, here's the thing. If you were gonna go based off of what you received, is it worth what they say the values are on there? I don't know. I don't know that they are. Uh, but what I can tell you in this box, there are two things that, you know, three pieces, but two things to combine that I'm very excited to try. One being this knuckleball. Uh, this thing's really cool to me. I think this is gonna be fun to throw. I'm gonna find it interesting. It's got a noise that I'm not used to, that I'm not used to hearing. And when it kind of like spins around, it's really got a vibrating, that's cool. Um, this is something I would never have bought for myself, especially at a $9 price tag. Never would spend $9 to get this. But in a box like this where it comes every month, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually excited to get this. I'm happy to get it. Um, you know, it's, it's different. It's got a unique color. I like that. Um, it is smaller, but very heavy. So this is, this is cool. This is something fun. This is something different that I get to try. Another thing is the combo. The combo of these bad boys along with these. Now, I fish a lot of dark water, but I like throwing green pumpkin more than this color. But I'm going to try it. Um, I think these scent capsules are going to dissolve in the water. Uh, so you throw it out, it dissolves, the scent is now in the water bringing fish in. So that's kind of cool. I think that's different. I think that's neat. Um, I think it's something to try. And then, you know, you get two staple items, right? You get a traditional jerk bait that you can go and use anywhere, pretty much any time, as long as the water's clean. And then this dark little guy here that, uh, that I'm pretty excited to throw. He's got some good joint action to him. When he's closed up, he looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, yeah, good set, good lures, good everything. Yeah, all right, MTB. I don't hate on it. I don't hate on it. It's an expensive box at the end of the day, and the product's good. I like it. Uh, guys, until next time, uh, I really want you guys to know a few things. One, yes, I did get a haircut. Uh, two, I'm currently making baits, uh, which is really fun. So some videos coming soon about my lure designs and uh, the way I'm airbrushing them. And I'm doing some soft plastics and stuff too. So it's actually really, really fun. Having a great time doing that. Part of the reason why I haven't been posting as much and the fact that it's winter and everything's already frozen over here, which is painful for me. Awesome, I live in the tundra, I get it. Um, 
So guys, if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I like doing these videos. I need your guys' support to keep doing these videos. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe out of all of these products. Which one was your favorite? Please leave that down below. And until next time, guys, happy foozin'.